Sustainable Global Education Blueprint. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 110. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. Hi, my name is Jay Sable, and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 110, April 12, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering with video and pictures all of our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the written section and images of the open source lesson plan to the website. You can see this work here, and behind the scenes, we also wrote another 25% of this lesson plan, bringing us to 50% written completion. Also behind the scenes, we wrote the first 25% of our next lesson plan with the central theme of nature. We also added the final 70% of the Violet section to the Technology and Innovation Molecule webpage, which you can see here. This molecule is now 98% complete, with a few additional points to be researched and added to provide more examples and finish it to 100%. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished another 25% of the image creation for the open source lesson plan mind map also. You can see this here and that brings this mind map to 50% complete. Paige also helped us create this new image for the happiness lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source corn hub. And we did this for our Food Forest Herb Plantings Hub, too. We also research and add the final major component to the Open Source Potatoes Hub, Recipes. You can see these new additions here. And these first recipe lists will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan for remote village construction. In addition to this, we added two new tasty recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? We added these to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and they are tortilla salad and lentil and brown rice stuffed red pepper salad. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. 
This work is happening behind the scenes, and what you see here will be part of the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week we finished cutting lumber and labeling pieces for two back shelves and began exploring a new shelving and ladder design. We estimate we are now 67% complete with this behind the scenes work. Also behind the scenes, we finished another 5% of the Earth Dome Loft construction tutorial specifics. This work included laying out details for the deck install and looking at a possible need to change spacing of joists, sorting out screw sizes, and creating what was needed for an engineer to run loft structural calculations. We're now 60% complete with that behind the scenes work. Scott Thomas and the Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also finished their part of the work putting the complete Earthbag Village components together in AutoCAD. This is the 2D layout of the complete village created from our 3D SketchUp files. Sheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his third round of SolidWorks design specifics for the three dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This work included adding the door and window specifics and uh, the colored dots that you see above the windows and doors are recycled bottles for adding additional artistic and colored natural lighting. Nelly Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, also created these second concept sketches for the Earthbag Village Pod 6, featuring a stack design of two levels providing 40 units. This then evolved into a straight design that will take better advantage of passive solar, and looks like this if built into a hill. These two-level Earthship-inspired designs are expandable and will have a central large-scale kitchen, several shared common spaces, and start with sufficient housing for 60 to 80 people. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated the open source indoor outdoor natural pool and eco spa page with the plumbing design specifics of Rob Jurdy, pool design and construction expert and owner of Sorico Design and Consulting. You can see these new additions here. Mateo Spajetto, civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics, also finished the calculations for the Duplical City Center water catchment specifics, including pipe sizing and selection that you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team finished creation of the Ocean Preservation page of the People's Agenda 21 site. This page here covers resources for anyone interested in proactive action for protecting and preserving our oceans. We also finished creation of the biotechnology management page of the People's Agenda 21 site. This page covers resources for anyone interested in proactive action with biotechnology in relation to food, supporting human health, protecting the environment, and more. Last but not least, Vasily Bizarov. Writer, poet, and translator finished the first translation of one of our pages into another language, the Open Source Hoop House Construction page. You can see this page and all of Vasily's wonderful work here and read it on the website. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is creating a sustainable global education blueprint for creating teacher demonstration hubs to be built anywhere in the world. These teacher demonstration hubs are open source village models that are designed to become self-replicating. The way they become self-replicating is that we are here to make them easy enough, affordable enough, and to demonstrate them as attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own. And the way that we're doing that is through open source creation of everything that we do for the highest good of all. What that means is we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, people that are thinking globally, that see that a world that works for everybody is not only possible, but it's possible within our lifetime and it's worth working towards. And they're willing to do whatever is necessary to make that happen. And specifically, that means with our organization, open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization that could be and create and build a world that truly works for everyone. 
Those foundations are food, sustainable energy, sustainable housing, highest good education, highest good economics, highest good fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting all of these components together to create the teacher demonstration villages that are the sustainable global education blueprint that can teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. As we build these ideas, as we create these sustainable village models around the world, the idea is that they will teach others how to create them as well. And because the model of living will be considered by most to either be a superior model of living as a whole, or perhaps just a superior way of creating food, or building a house, or an economic model, or the fulfilled living model, or the education model, like every component is designed to be implemented as either an individual component or to be combined as the complete teacher demonstration hub that can help to self-replicate itself into additional teacher demonstration hubs teaching more and more people how to build sustainable global education blueprints too. So as the model spreads, it helps the model to spread even more, and it's built on an ecotourism uh, economic model so that the model itself for sustaining itself is designed specifically to be supported by sharing itself. And the open source model supports that too. The marketing engine for everything that it is that we do is giving it away and free sharing it. So the more we share, the more we succeed. The more we invite people to participate, the more we succeed. And the more we succeed, the more we replicate what it is that we're doing, which helps to support the model as a whole. And this is why we talk about building a bridge between idealism and pragmatism. Starting with a pragmatic approach and building towards that ideal world. So I guess that would be building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism. Or you could say that we have this ideal vision of creating a plant that works for everybody through sustainable global educational blueprints. And through that vision, we are building that ideal model that will then help to create self-replicating models to spread around the world and create this level of sustainability for others too. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds like a worthwhile and noble venture and adventure, we invite you to get involved. There's lots of different ways to participate. You can read about them all on our website. Also, if you'd like to help supporting us in the easiest way, follow us or support us. Help us share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Sue, which is our new favorite social media network. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on Tumblr and 15 other social media networks as well to make it as easy as possible to access our information. Of course, the greatest thing that we need right now, which you can also read about on our website, is we are seeking large-scale funding to be able to get the team on the property and to be able to start building the first village model, inviting people to visit, inviting people to come and stay there. And if they like what they see, if they like what they experience, to be able to take the blueprints, to take everything that it is that we're creating and to duplicate it for free. Because we're not just open sourcing it, we are open source project launch blueprinting it, which means that we are open sourcing in a way that's designed to take the component and present it in such a way that it can specifically spawn additional Replicable, replicable models, adaptable, modifiable, different models, but built off of that original template that has been created in such a way that such a level of detail is provided. And this is, you can see this all over our website, so that average people with average means, you don't have to be a professional, will be able to duplicate, replicate, and then of course modify and adapt what it is that we're doing to meet their own needs. And thus the global collaborative and cooperative will grow. So if this idea, this evolution of sustainability that com combines physical sustainability with emotional sustainability puts these things together for the highest good of all to create a self-replicating teacher demonstration, village, community, or hub, and ultimately cities that will help to teach others to build self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and hubs, which are all self-sustainable as well. If this idea is something that appeals to you, get involved in all the different ways that are available. You know, a sustainable global educational blueprint is really just a matter of participation. Like we have the means, the ability right now to create all these things. And from one community's perspective, it's just, it's just about putting all the, the successful models that are already together, I'm sorry, that already exist together and teaching people how to do that. And we believe the model is spread on its own. So... As always, thank you for following our progress. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.